Hello and welcome everyone to a new series of how to paint uh, miniatures. I chose Inquisitor Greyfax from the Triumvirate box this time. I have already started laying out most of the colors um, just to see how it all fits together. I did a bit of a painting test on the leg already but uh, for this part I want to start with uh, with the chest area and I plan to to do sort of a sky earth non-metallic element um, and I'm not going for sort of a, a metal look but more like a ceramic look mm, we'll see how it turns out I base coded this in a mix of uh, Panzer Aces Splinter Camouflage base. Uh, it is basically a a stone gray, and I mixed it with a bit of with a bit of black. And uh, I'm going to highlight it with uh, stone gray with the Splinter Camouflage and a bit of white. Okay, the first. Thing that I want to do is I'm going to outline the pattern that I want to paint and therefore I use a bit of the pure gray and since I, I'm going to paint this in a sky earth uh, pattern I want a line to show here this will be the the area that is going to be the lightest um, the upper part is sort of going to reflect the the sky and uh, the lower part is reflecting more the, the darker areas of the of the earth and uh, that's why it's called sky earth not metallic So I will first paint the highlights and then after this I will shade in mm. I paint in the shades and since there there will be a sharp line here I want to start just outlining that and sort of see where my my boundaries are for the for the colors Since this is um, more of an outlined area, uh, I don't need to do much blending here. I'm just painting uh, a coherent area that's just ending where I painted the outline. as a base and something that I want to at least outline right now as well is uh, that reflection down here you know like any 
any orb, any, any um, metal orb, you will have a reflection also on the underside of an orb like that. And I want to, to paint that right now before I start the shading. Then I already have that element in. And I'm just, just using really thin layers here to get sort of like a gradient. And you can already see that we have this reflection down here. This is sort of where the round shape um, reflects parts of maybe the armor. Um, it's just uh, an area where there's more light um, accumulating than at the rest of, of this shape. So adding a bit more of the stone gray again and uh, painting a bit of a gradient. to this line here in the front. And what I want to do is I don't want it to be too because uh, that adds a bit of an interesting e effect. So make that line a bit jagged, sort of like it would reflect uh, a all the peaks of a mountain or uh, a mountain ridge. And again, going to paint a few layers down here. Just so we have a bit of a pre highlight before the shading starts. Okay, adding some white to the mix. And when I, I highlight, uh, I also do this, and uh, I'll just do the same right now. I always start at the area that should be the lightest. You know, if I when I'm blending, okay, that, that was a bit uh, misleading. When I'm blending, I'm starting at the area that uh, that will stay darker and I move towards the area that I move the brush towards the area that will be lighter so that if I have some pooling of pigment it will actually pool uh, where I want where I'm going to paint more layers anyway so if the white uh, paint pools here in the front that's actually not bad since I was gonna paint a few more layers here anyway so I'm painting a bit of a gradient towards this line where we have Um, <clears throat> the horizontal line.
Okay, adding a bit more white here. And just touching the very line here. And again, I'm not doing this regularly. But more in a chaotic um, sort of pattern. This line is going to distinguish the upper part, which, like I said, reflects more of the of the sky, um, the light that's coming from above, from the lower lines, which is reflecting more of the of the earth. Since this is, is some reflecti reflective material, um, later you probably also want to, to paint a bit of uh, a red of reflection here, but uh, let's, let's first finish this gradient. Okay, taking a bit of pure white and touching the very f frontal areas here. Since the white uh, is really intense, um, I want a bit more light showing up here, so I'll just add a couple of more layers. Okay, and uh, I really like the the bit of the yellow that shows here in uh, due to the the stone gray that we added. to add the just below the line just 
below the light line we want the very dark the darkest area so I'll add a bit of black to the base mix and just very very carefully add a fine layer of black well blackish gray to be more precise Just slowly maximizing contrast there. And this is sort of like highlighting just uh, in the other direction. I'm adding darker layers to the darker areas. And just like I, I would draw the line up just be, uh, above that with the white, I will put in a few black uh, dots irregularly. to intensify the reflection down here before I add a bit of um, of brown to that mix so that we so that we get a bit of a color variation where I go rather light just not as intense as as above okay so adding <coughs> a bit of uh, the armor brown from Model Air and uh, just thinning it very very thin with water and this color tends to intensify black and it will tint the the reflection below a bit And I have that color in in the hats, for example, and there's also a bit of it uh, down here and in the red. So um, by this we have a bit of uh, color repetition and it's drawing it all together a bit more. Okay, so uh, I also got to paint the rest of this armor. So I'll take a bit of the base color with added white. And uh, I decided to paint the left side. And of course, I dried in.
to paint the left side lighter than the right side so I get a non-metallic effect as well Again, I'm also touching these lower edges of it. And uh, because even edges that point downwards will catch some light. Uh, And you'll see reflections, just not as intense as if they w were pointing up. And always try to start at the area that would uh, give you the lightest, the, the most light reflected, and fade it out to the other areas. Um, kind of feel like here would be a really light reflection point and then it fades out down here and then we have some here maybe and uh, here the arm is parted and I will also touch that bring out that edge in the front still a bit more so mixing a bit white to the stone gray and again starting where the most light would hit and uh, fitting it out to the back a bit Also again this would hit get hit by a lot of light and reflected so a point here and also a point here and we'll go a bit down not too much still want this to be the brightest area
and uh, going to add a gradient down here just gonna from from this dark area to a bit more lighter color just so that uh, it it may mix the other side you know here where it goes from light to dark I want it to go from dark to light just to sort of uh, go with the non-metallic um, quote-unquote rules okay and one last dip of white here for the maximum contrast also here and here and here Okay, going going to tie in well going to tie in the whole armor a bit or tying it together rather by adding a wash of blackish brown And I'll paint a bit of brown here as well. So that we have a color variation and it kind of lays the base out for a red reflection here. this area with some brown and that is going to be it So I'll probably um, paint all the other areas of the armor and then start or well continue with the gold uh, in the next video.